Uh, my name is Hiroki Furue uh, from the University of Tokyo in Japan, and uh, I'll talk about uh, this uh, question during a mass of and vinegar QR UV. And first, I'll talk about the original UV scheme. Uh, we uh, I here denote uh, the n and, and then uh, we here suppose that the number of variables is n and m is the uh, number of equations and n is larger than m and we here divide the all n variables into two layers and the first uh, v variables from x1 to x3 are called vinegar variables and the last n variables from x v plus 1 to xn are called oil variables and then this is a uh, key generation of uh, UOV. Uh, first, we generate an uh, invertible quality map F from FQ to the N to FQ to the M, a called uh, central map. And then uh, each polynomial FK uh, can be written like this as a sum of uh, monomials alpha IJK, XI, XJ. And this XI is chosen from the all and variables, while this xj is chosen as a vinegar variables. And then we generate a linear map, a linear map randomly from fq to the n to fq to the n. And finally, by composing this f and s, we obtain the public key p, and these f and s are secret keys. Then by using this structure of the central map f, we can usually invert the central map. And first, we fix values of vinegar variables from x1 to x v uh, randomly. And then by substituting these values, the polynomial fk of the central map f uh, becomes a linear map in all variables. And so in the second step, uh, we can solve the resulting linear system in all variables. And this system has m equations in m variables, and thus uh, this has a solution with high probability. And uh, if there exists no solution, then return to step one and choose uh, another values for vinegar variables. Uh, by using this way of inverting the central map f, uh, we can realize a signature generation and verification uh, like this. And uh, we can represent uh, this public and secret key by using some matrices like this. Uh, for a polynomial fi of the central of f, we can take a n by n matrix mfi satisfying these equations fi x equals x1 to xn times mfi times x1 to xn. And then the uh, lower, lower right m by m sum matrix of this mfi is always a uh, zero matrix uh, due to the uh, because, because this part uh, corresponds to coefficients of chaotic terms in oil variables. And we can also take a n by n matrix ms uh, representing s. And uh, for uh, n by n matrix mpi representing the polynomial in the public key P, uh, we can have uh, this equation, MPI equals MS transpose times MFI times MS from the relationship between the public key and secret key. And uh, now I talk about the uh, QR, the construction of our QR of signature scheme. Uh, first, we inter uh, first I introduced a uh, matrix representing uh, quotient ring structure. And uh, let L be a positive integer and F be a polynomial in FQT with degree L. And then for any element G in the quotient ring FQT F, uh, we can un uniquely define a matrix YGF, uh, L by L matrix YGF, satisfying these equations, uh, one T to T to the L minus one times YGF equals g t z to t to the r minus one times g. And actually, uh, in the case, for example, in the case of uh, q equals two and f equals t cubed plus t plus one, and then for any element g in the quotient ring, uh, a times t squared plus b times t plus c, uh, we can uh, define a uh, ygf like uh, this form, 
and and actually this matrix uh, can be def defined uh, determined by using only these three coefficients of a b c of z and then uh, this three times three three by three matrix uh, can be represented by only three elements and thus uh, if we can apply this phi to the public key matrices mpi and uh, then we can reduce the public key size and this is the main motivation of a qr of issue in just and actually from the definition of uh, these matrices phi the map from uh, the quotient ring fqt f to the set of uh, matrices phi uh, is a uh, injective ring homomorphism and by using this property, we consider uh, embedding these matrices into the public and sigurd key matrices. And we have consider as we have suppose that uh, uh, MA, the secret key matrices MS and M M MFI are uh, set as uh, block phi matrices like this, and uh, uh, the block matrix whose every component has the form of phi gf, then we wonder if the public key matrix MPI computed by MS transpose times MFI times MS is also uh, block phi matrix or not. And actually from the link homomorphism, this MFI times M MS is a uh, block phi matrix, uh, but uh, here MS transpose is multiplied from the rest side and uh, the block phi structure is not stable under the transposition. And so we cannot embed the structure of phi into the public and secret key uh, into public key matrices by using this way. And to solve this problem, we introduce a, a matrix W, a L by L matrix W, such that uh, for any element G, in the quotient ring, uh, W phi GF is symmetric. Uh, then, uh, by setting the secret, matrix, secret key matrices MFI as uh, block W phi matrices, and the block matrix whose every component uh, has the form of W phi, and MS as a block matrix, block phi matrix. Then, through these uh, transformations, uh, we can say that uh, the public key matrices MPI. Uh, block W file matrices. And so if uh, there exists uh, such a matrix W, uh, then we can embed the file structure into the public key matrices. And actually this lemma shows the existence of such a matrix W uh, for any positive integer L and uh, polynomial F with degree L. There exists an invertible L by L matrix W such that uh, W5 is uh, symmetric for any element G in the quotient ring. And, and actually this, uh, such a W can be easily computed. And in, the, in this example I mentioned before, uh, we can take uh, L by L matrix W like this form. And by multiplying this from the left side, uh, this W5 becomes a symmetric form like this. Uh, for any coefficients a, b, c. Uh, then uh, now I talk about the now I show the key generation of a QRUV. Uh, first we choose a polynomial f with degree l, and then we choose an l times l matrix w such that uh, for any element g, w phi g f is symmetric. Uh, then we, we here choose an uh, irreducible polynomial as, a, as f uh, for the security of our QRUV scheme. And in the second step, uh, we take the secret key matrices MFI as block W phi matrices and MS as a block phi matrix. And finally, the public key matrices MPI are computed by MS transpose times MFI times MS. And then this resulting MPI uh, block W phi matrices. And so we can reduce the public key size from the structure of the phi. And next about the security of a QRUV. 
And uh, from the result of Kosky and Sagawa, uh, we proved that uh, your FCM security of a uh, QR UV is uh, reduced to the difficulty of uh, these two programs in the, the UV program and QRMQ program in the quantum random oracle model. Uh, this UV program asks to distinguish a randomized quadratic map and the public key map of the plain UV and some, some variants of UV, uh, the security of some variants of, U, of UV is based on this UV program. And another one is a QRMQ program that, that asks to solve the MQ program constructed from block W5 matrices like the public key map for a QRUV. And for this uh, QRMQ program, uh, and uh, we have no theoretical security pro proof for the difficulty of this QRMQ program, but we experimentally confirmed that the solving degree of the public key system is the same as that of the randomized quadratic system. And to estimate the uh, security level, we consider these attacks with my Excel and polynomial Excel and these two method uh, solving the underdetermined quadratic system efficiently and to my work method and Hashimoto's method. And for the uh, UOV, uh, for the, the security against the UOV problem, uh, we have first showed a way of uh, transforming the block W5 or block 5 matrix into a smaller matrix over the extension field FQ to zero. Let uh, capital N be N over L. Then we can define uh, capital N by capital N matrix PK bar I over the finite field FQ, satisfying this equation MPK equals uh, the sum of PK bar I times W phi T to the I F. Then by using these smaller capital N by capital N matrix, uh, we can define a uh, capital N by capital N matrix M P K bar over the extension field FQ to the L and uh, as a sum of uh, T to the I times P K P K bar I. And by applying the same transformation, uh, we can transform uh, the second key matrices M S K and M S to the a smaller matrix over the extension field MFK bar and MS bar. And for these matrices over the extension field, we have this equation MPK bar equals MS bar transpose times MFK bar times MS bar. And this means that uh, when we apply key recovery attacks on our QREOV, uh, we can regard uh, as uh, the public key of our QREOV as a uh, uh, original UOV public key map with these parameters, with, with these uh, parameters, uh, the V over L, vinegar variables, M over L, oil variables, and M equations over the extension field, FQ to the L. And thus, uh, to estimate the uh, secu security of our QR UOV against key recovery, some key recovery attacks, we consider the uh, complexity of key recovery attacks on the plain UOV with these parameters. Actually, we did consider these attacks, keeping the shaming attack and reconciliation attack, intersection attack, and uh, rectangular minnak attack. And uh, we showed that uh, after transforming uh, the public key map into this, uh, into this, uh, the public key of the original UOV over the extension field, uh, we, we can apply the rectangular minnak attack. And then uh, about the uh, pro proposed parameters of QRUV. Uh, for each security level 1, 3, and 5, uh, we proposed four parameters uh, like this. And this table shows the uh, public key size and the signature size of uh, QRUV level 1 proposed parameters. Uh, we have applied some techniques which reduce the uh, public key size, uh, and we replace some parts of the public key by using a random seed. 
and public key size uh, approximately 20, 20, byte, 20 bytes, uh, 20 kilobytes, and the signature size is a uh, few hundreds bytes. And in these parameters, uh, we can reduce the public key size by uh, compared with the original UOV by approximately 50%. And here, the size we suppose that the size of the secret key is 256 bits. And the, this is the uh, data of uh, the performance of uh, level one proposed parameters uh, for NIST reference in NIST reference and uh, NIST reference in, in platform for level one proposed parameters. And now I conclude this talk. We submit a QR UV uh, using a variant of UV uh, using quotient ring to structure to reduce the public key size. And actually, our proposed parameters reduce the uh, public key size by approximately 50% compared with the plain UV. And in terms of simplicity, our QR UV is a natural extension of UV utilizing the quotient ring structure, like an extension from LWE to MLWE. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much.